you remember Code 7? Yeah, neither do I. I guess that means a fresh take on their latest album, right? Hi people and hello my Chili Con Carnage crew, it's Chili here for a 5 minute review on Code Summit's newest album, Go Let It In. I mean it when I said I didn't remember this band. That was until I heard their cover of Boys of Summer, and damn did the original do some rounds back in the day. And I'm sure it was used in more than a few movie soundtracks as well back then. Anyway, their cover wasn't half bad, and it's somewhat of a piss take of the original version. But it was the song the band were mostly known for, which is unfortunate, and it leaves them in the limbo-like state that Alien Ant Farm would be. Their earlier style of music was a flavour of post-hardcore, akin to early thrice or glass jaw, and isn't too bad if I'm being honest. But with a few years, the group would shift their style completely, turning into a more ambient rock style. And then, nothing happened. For 20 years. I couldn't find much on their Wikipedia, as it's a bit barren, and maybe that's for the best. I would rather listen to their music and make up my mind, than presume anything beforehand, and do I have opinions about this album, their first in nearly 20 years. It can be a bit of a gift to be somewhat forgotten in the music industry, especially when you are reinventing your sound, akin to being the new kid at a school you transfer to six states over. You can be who you want, because no one knows your past, and I think Code 7 definitely had this advantage when I first heard this album. With fresh ears, I was coming into this record, and it left quite a positive impression on me. Their styles of music, the band do almost sound like others, such as Filter, but with a more melodic approach. I guess it's safe to call it atmospheric post-metal, or something in that vein, and I get that from the first chords of the opening track Fixated. The band is not in a rush or setting a high intensity fast paced song here, instead they are setting the mood and allowing the listener to ease into the transition for the journey ahead for the next 46 minutes. The following couple of songs such as Rough Seas, Hold Tight or A Hush Then A Riot seamlessly blend into each other with some great production which makes the record feel like one big song, and for that I will sing its praises. But where it's positive is also a negative, as each song feels within the same tempo and drum beat that it can be hard to differentiate between what you are hearing. One of the biggest issues that I noticed while listening was all of these songs start sounding the so similar and the genre that they are covering it doesn't really give any rise to any sense of urgency within this album, with a minor exception perhaps to their song Rough Seas. Because of this lack of excitement, it's hard to feel any sense of transcendence or jubilation within. Sure, you can feel the vibe, and this works especially well if you are in the mood for this album, but outside of this, if you are not looking for an atmospheric rock tunes, then this album's not for you. With all this said and done, I still found the album enjoyable, and I can't say that it wasn't worth my time. But perhaps this is music more suitable to being played in the background while you are performing activities rather than any other scenario. Overall, I will give this album a score of 5.5 million chilies on the spicy scale, with my favourite tracks being Fixated, Hold Tight, and Starboard. If there's one thing to take away from this, it's that a band that has been in the shadows for quite some time now has returned to the scene and has left at least one of their fans in a state of elation according to the Rachel Music website. I'm sure that if you are a hardcore fan of Code 7, then this album should be a source of joy for you. If you've enjoyed this content, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to us, and stay notified for future music-related content, because it keeps our manager happy at the end of the day. We are also on Discord, Instagram, Facebook, and all those other social platforms if you want to check us out. As always, people, you have a great day, and stay spicy.